Testing one, two, Ichini Sanchi, Goroku Sichi, Achi Kyuju. Hello, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video because we're going to be doing a through the lens comparison with the Pico Neo 3 Pros cable that goes, display cable that goes to the PC VR, supposed to give you 4K. So let's see how it fares against the HP Reverb G2. By the way, talking about the HP Reverb G2, HP are sponsoring us a brand new HP Reverb G2 headset. So it won't be this one because HP will send it to you. And Cybershoes are sponsoring us a pair of Cybershoes also, who they will send to one lucky winner in um, celebration of 10,000 subscribers to the channel. So make sure you do hit the enable bell notification after you subscribe for the details of that video. I'm just trying to finalize all the game keys before I do the grand reveal. And by the way, do go and check out uh, yesterday's video, which was all about the interview on the Meta Podca Business Podcast with the creator and lead developer of none other than Walkabout Mini Golf. VR, so go and check it out, link in the description below. So now, let's just do the unboxing very quickly. So I'm going to take this and my screwdriver, and uh, let's see let's see what's in the box now. I received this a, a week plus ago, but I haven't had time to actually uh, open it. So let's just do this together. So the plastic, now this came from Europe, guys, so it came from a big place. All right, so it's a very nice box, I have to say. Packaging, very nicely done. I like the amount of detail that they put in the packaging, I must admit. And is the next Pico Neo 3 Pro going to be called the Bite Dance Pico? Who knows? I'm going to ask Pico and see what they say. So I just reveal. So inside we have a card. So what's in the card? Is it a warranty? Okay, so basically it's just some... So it's basically the instructions, okay? So that's what it is. That's what comes in here. So I'll take a look at that. And guys, I'm going to be doing multiple videos in this video. Uh, as you know, I record everything live. So this is not the first. This is the first video I'm recording, but then there'll be another video. All right. So now the cable, I believe, is at least five meter long. So basically, the cable is this one here. So I'm just trying to put it to the light so you can see. Just get rid of this thing here. All right, there we go. And let me bring it to the camera so you can see. Sorry, my light is falling. Come on, stay light, stay there. All right, good. So we have one side of the cable will basically go inside of the HP Reverb G2, and then the other one in will plug directly uh, the USB into, sorry, this is the display port plus the USB. So it's a bit like the HP Reverb G2 where you have to, you have to put two of them to power it. And then this side here, will be where you put inside of the actual Pico Neo 3 Pro. So I'll show you in a various different videos. And then also what they give you is a screwdriver, this one here. So you can screw the, um, up, 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 up. come on, focus, <laughs> uh, focus, focus, focus. Let me see if I can, if I can focus on it. There we go. Let me just click, click on my hand, should focus. No, it zoomed. All right, never mind. Oh, there we go. It focused. Uh, so yeah, so this will basically be the uh, you know what 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 to screw it in the headset. Now that's the only thing that I'm a bit you know not very happy about. That you have to screw something in the headset. Could be pretty annoying if you want to take it off, go mobile, stand alone, and they have to screw it back on if you want to go PC VR again. Um, it would be great if in the bite dance Pico the next one there is no need for this. Maybe a little button on the Pico so you click. It comes off and you know put it in and it latches in automatically uh, I think something like this would would be a little better so guys um, I'm gonna stop this recording now and I'll see you in just a little moment I'm gonna plug it into the headset and everything and uh, yeah I'll see you in just a little moment all right guys so this is the continuation video um, so I've done some testing I put everything up now let's first of all go to the uh, website of the bite down. So the cable is five meters long, guys. We're going to do the side by side comparison now and do make sure you watch until the end of the video because at the end I will tell you whether it's worth getting this cable and whether the Pico uh, Neo 3 is actually, um, you know, it is, 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 is actually 
worth getting as a PC VR headset. So uh, before we do that, so the resolution of the lenses are 3664 by 1920, so 4K. Uh, for for the resolution of the lenses. So uh, do go and check out the previous video as well where I did the comparison uh, using the uh, wireless uh, standalone uh, through the lens with the HP Reverb G2 as well. I did a, that video, so go and check it out. Uh, it's also using the Qualcomm XR2, same as the Oculus Quest uh, 2. So now let's, uh, let, let's, let's do some side by side because uh, guys, you know, as you know, I'm completely unbiased. It's very hard sometimes to tell the truth when you're working with sponsors because you only want to tell the greatest things, all right? But let me tell you that the Pico Neo 3 Pro, they've done an amazing job in terms of catching up to all the rest and coming up with something that is very decent. But let's, let's see how it fares against the HP Reverb G2 in a PC VR mode so uh okay let me go to the actual files okay here we go and then let's go to the setup first of all i will do a separate video about how to put everything together guys so do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe for that video uh so let me just is it this one yes so first of all to actually put the cable there's a little latch that you have to put on the side of the uh, headset. It is really hard to put it on. It's like it took me forever to put it on. I, I I almost broke the the plastic thing. It's just it's just really really hard. Uh, they should have perhaps make it a little bit bigger. I mean, this video goes on for one minute, but it actually took me more than five minutes to put this thing on. And I tried twice, by the way. There is no best way of putting it on. Uh, so just FYI. Uh, the ghost now actually broke his, so it's very possible you might break yours as well. Uh, you know, the plastic is quite finicky. I'm just saying that it's really not easy. So, you know, do be prepared to use some masking tape for your cable to be put on. Um, and then also, uh, however, after you put it on, this is what it looks like. So it's on, it's there. You can put it on eventually. But it really was quite difficult to put on. So, because if you are watching this video, I do recommend uh, you try to, you know, see how you, you you can improve later. And also, do make sure that um, the cable here, you have some cable, it's not completely tight. Otherwise, it will be really horrible when you're going to screw it in. So, make sure you have a little bit of leeway here. Uh, so, it's not completely straight, you know. You got some cable going from here to here, so it's a little bit loose, so it's easier for you to put it on. But I will do a separate video about this, uh, as I mentioned before. And then also, this is what it looks like when you have it on your head. Uh, so I'm just putting the headset on my head. There we go. The cable's not in the way. Uh, it's okay. It goes, it goes around the head quite nicely. Uh, you can put another piece of tape if you want to, but for me it was okay. Uh, no problem whatsoever, so it doesn't get in the way, so I just wanted to show this to you very quickly. All right, so now let's uh, move forward to the actual, uh, you know, uh, setup. So let's put the HP first. Okay, I'm going to turn off the sound because otherwise I'm going to get flagged. Uh, and then let me just put it so it's half the screen. And then let me take the Pico. Here we go. Go and then I'll use this player here. Again, I need to get rid of the sound. So there we go. No sound. All right, we're going to put them side by side. So the Pico Neo 3 Pro is on the... Now, there is some... It's on the left-hand side. There is some flickering. This is due to the frequency at which my phone is filming inside the Pico. And it's possible that the Pico is recording uh, at a higher frame rate, uh, potentially maybe around you know 50 frames per second versus the hp which could be recording its frame rate at around streaming its frame rate at around 30 frames per second um, so that's why there will be some flicker so let me just stop it somewhere where uh, i can put it both together here we go this is good there we go here and then here and i'm going to give you my two cents worth now when you're recording on the phone, let me just make sure that the sound is recording. Yes, okay. Now, oops. 
There we go. It's about, it's just about right. Okay. Now, first of all, there is better sweet spot, sweet spot in the Pico Neo 3 Pro. So the Pico Neo 3 Pro in terms of sweet spot wins hands down. Uh, you can look around with your eyeball, left, right, up and down. I did do a previous video about all this, so do go and check it out. And you can tell here, uh, for example, on the floor, it's clearer uh, compared to here on the floor. It's more blurry on the HP Reverb G2. Um, it's also a little bit more blurry on the sides. However, this could also be the positioning of the actual uh, you know, lens of the, of the camera. So if we just move around... It is slightly, but it is, I'm trying to adjust the, it is slightly more blurry though, I have to, I have to say, um, you know, on the sides of the HP Reverb G2. Those who have an HP Reverb G2 will tell you that that is the truth. Um, so it is more clear on the sides for the Pico Neo 3 Pro, um, for sure, that, that is, that is very true. However, uh, I'm, you're going to be very shocked as to what I'm going to tell you uh, in just a moment. So I'm just putting the HP Reverb G2 uh, back on here. Uh, let me just move forward here, see if I could get an equivalent. Okay, here we go. Now, in terms of reading things that are close to you, um, the HP Reverb G2 and the Pico Neo 3 Pro, there isn't that much difference in terms of reading things from close, close up. However, reading things from, um, when you're trying to read things from far away, that's where um, there is, wait, let me get my camera. Here we go, okay. And then let me go back to, here, all right, now the camera works. However, when you're trying to read things from far away, the HP Reverb G2 is much better. Uh, seeing things from far away, further away, uh, HP Reverb G2 wins hands down. Uh, and there is also some issues with the Pico Neo 3 Pros. Now, Pico Neo 3, Pico, sorry, ByteDance Pico did an update of the DP Assistant, which is a software you're running on your computer in order to enable um, the streaming from the headset using the cable to, to the computer. They did do very recently, apparently, a update to it. Now, when I had received it, it was before the update, before other people had reviewed it, just to let you know. So my review is extremely fresh. You need to know that um, compared to other people who you may have gone online and checked the reviews because there is an issue in the graphics that I will reveal. So do stay on, watch this video until the end because I will tell you the issue that there is with the Pico Neo 3 Pro compared to the HP Reverb G2, okay? Uh, so let's just transition over Again, uh, let me go back here and back here. Okay, there we go. And then let me just click play again. So this is the HP Reverb G2, just to remind you guys uh, that it is on the right-hand side. Then let me just move to the window here. Okay, there we go. This looks pretty clear. Okay, and then let me just play here for you. This is the Pico Neo 3 Pro with the DP cable display. Okay, there we go. Try and get something a bit more clear. Now, there is more detail. Uh, so this is probably, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, as you could tell, now we've reversed. So, um, you know, uh, on, on the camera recording, you can tell that now this is clearer on the HP Reverb G2, and this is more blurry on the Pico Neo 3 Pro. Um, and this is probably due to the the positioning of the camera lens on the actual uh, uh, VR headset. So sorry about that, guys. But it is more blurry. There is less sweet spot on the HP Reverb G2. We all know that. Um, but it's, it's, not, it's not bad enough to make the experience horrible, right? I mean, it's a very nice experience on the HP Reverb G2, hands down. And it is, is it my go-to PC VR headset, I'll tell you at the end of this video, but it has been my go-to PC VR headset for the last one year, guys. I've been very happy with it, still very happy with it. Um, now, there is loss, there is more detail on the HP Reverb G2 
on, for example, specularity here, on the glass specularity and reflections here, um, on the shadowings. There's definitely now they're both, you know, the 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 the. the the sorry, sorry I stopped her. Um, the resolution of the HP Reverb 2 we all know is 2160 by 2160. All right. Um, so you know it. It. But at the end of the day, it is a crisper, sharper, more detailed VR headset. I'm trying to get positioning. A resolution. Let me try. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. It's a bit better. But it is sharper, more crisper when it comes to the details inside of the HP Reverb G2 compared to the Pico Neo 3 Pro. I need to say that for sure. Uh, you have more detail, more specularity, more reflections. Uh, shadows are crisper. All these kind of things. And the text is better, is more readable from far away with the HP Reverb G2. Um, okay, let's let's open the uh, outdoor, because I went outdoor as well. So this is the HP. Uh, okay, wait. This is the HP. Let me just pause it. And this is the Pico. Okay, there we go. So you can tell the difference in lenses. Uh, you know, more Better sweet spot all around compared to here. The sweet spot's about here. So there is difference by 0.5 mm all around compared to here. So let me play the Pico Neo 3 Pro first as you go in. There we go, we go inside. And I'm gonna tell you the issue with the Pico Neo 3 Pro and whether it is my go-to PC VR headset now compared to the HP Reverb G2. So do watch until the end of this video, guys. And do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe uh, for the how-to and also the competition details as to how you can win the HP Reverb G2 and also a brand new pair of cyber shoes. All right, here we go. And then let me play the, uh, the HP Reverb G2. There we go. I mean, to me, you will definitely have more detail on the HP Reverb G2, guys. You will definitely have more detail. Um, and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a shocker. I, there's no bullshit on this channel, guys. I am, you know, black and white. I'll tell you whether things work, whether they don't work. It doesn't matter if people gave us stuff for free or their sponsors. I love our sponsors, I love working with them. But at the same time, I have to be 100% honest with you guys. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. So I'm just trying to play the Pico Neo 3 Pro for you. So you can see hands down. The colors are very good. No issue with the colors. No issue with the clarity. Clarity is not too bad. They've done a great job in terms of, okay, here we go. Here's, here's an example. You can't really read the fonts at the back. It's very, very hard to read it. Um, the detail, you definitely lose detail at the back. So let me compare it to the HP Reverb G2. Okay, you can't really see it here, but... Let me just tell you that when you put the HP Reverb G2 inside, the fonts at the back are definitely much clearer. You can almost read it, it's that clear. You can almost read it. Uh, the details on the window are definitely, there's more details on the windows uh, for, with the HP Reverb G2. Also the shadows, definitely more shadows in the details, in the uh, more details in the shadows. Uh, the shadows definitely go from lighter black to black compared to the Pico is more black and black, uh, not gray black. So, you know, just to let you know these kind of details that you do lose. Oh, here, this is very sharp, it's very crisp. Uh, let me go here. Let me see if I can get it's so hard to get crisp on both lenses because because basically the positioning of the camera can make or break the review, right? Okay, I think this is as clear as I'll get it. Uh, but basically, for me, it's sharper 
on the HP Reverb G2 to make experiences sharper inside. Also, as you can tell, the colors are more saturated in the HP compared to the Pico Neo 3 Pro. They're not as saturated, but that, you know, is definitely a personal preference thing, okay? Uh, that is not something that, you know, to me, uh, is going to be something where, you know, it makes or break the experience, all right? It's definitely up to you. You could prefer colors that are not as saturated. All right, I'm just, I just want to put it out there. It's not something that, you know, it's going to make or break the experience, but I prefer more saturated. It's just my uh, personal, you know, take uh, take on things. All right, let me just get rid of this window. Uh, now, the one thing that I need to point out to you is in terms of screen door effect. Now, screen door effect is basically the little pixels, the little pixels, right? They're tiny, teeny, teeny that you can see when you put the headset on. Sometimes it, br it, it, it breaks the immersion. Now, if you want to know the comparison between the HP Reverb G2 and the standalone streaming to the PC, uh, go and check out the previous video because it's very different. It's a very, very different review. It's a very different uh, personal, uh, different experience. Like it's a totally different experience. You gotta go and check out the video, it's on the channel. Um, but let me tell you now, with the Pico Neo 3 Pro, unfortunately, now, if you don't have an HP Reverb G2 and you don't know what it's like to have amazing PC VR experience, you might be very satisfied with the Pico Neo 3 Pro's DP display cable that hooks up to the PC. You might be fine with it, but let me tell you this, as someone who's been using an HP Reverb G2 for more than a year now, yeah, more than a year, it's been 13 months now, um, and I will do a review after a year of, of all the different things with the HP Reverb G2. Let me tell you that there is more screen door effect in the Pico Neo 3 Pro, guys. There's definitely some screen door effect in the Pico Neo 3 Pro. It is not clear. Screen door effect means that I can see a little mesh of pixels in front of me. In fact, it it doesn't bring me back to the Oculus Quest 1. No, it's not as bad as that. But there's definitely something that's there. There's like a little mesh. It appears, it disappears, it appears, it disappears. Um, now, I have a, 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 a 979700K, guys, with uh, an RTX 2070. So my PC is perfectly fine for, for VR. Um, but I have a headache. And I have, I have some motion sickness. Yep. I, I just, it's not clear for me. Um, it's not perfect. Now, this could be a software thing. I don't know because I went on the Ghost Owls blog and he says he's okay with it. He didn't really say he had motion sickness or anything. Um, but it gives me a headache. It, I don't feel comfortable. Um, Pico, I'm so sorry. I mean, you've done, if you're watching this video, you've done an amazing job. Don't get me wrong. Um, you're definitely my go-to headset for the standalone experience. And I have no screen door effect when it's streaming wirelessly, standalone, with no cable, to the PC. None. Go and watch that video to check out the differences. It's not as perfect as the HP Reverb G2, of course, because you're streaming wirelessly. So there's some compression there. But... It's, my, it's definitely my go-to VR headset for wireless standalone, to PC or to indoor, in, inside the, the headset. No, hands down, hands down. Guys, you've done an amazing beep job. <laughs> I was gonna say the F, the F word, right? Um, but when it comes to streaming with the cable, HP, if you're watching this video, you're still king of the PC VR as far as I'm concerned. And did the Vive Focus 3 do a better job? I got no idea because I don't have one. So as far as I'm concerned, guys, the Enterprise headset to go for at the moment until, you know, HTC send me something, for me is the, is the Pico Neo 3 Pro. However, it is not the go-to PC VR headset. HP, you are the go-to king of PC VR headset at the moment as it goes. So guys, there you go. You have my honest review. Perhaps there will be 
a software update and when there is I will update you once more and let you know whether it was a software thing. I will do more testing of course to give you update. Perhaps I didn't do enough testing. It's very possible but you know I have spent some time testing it uh, so I do believe I've given the best uh, potential settings for the cable um, you know to, to give it justice and also the recording with the phone you know I recorded for quite a while so you know, let me just play it again for you guys completely fully so you can you know get a I'll play it from the top it's about a minute long something like that so we're just putting the VR headset on and then of course you're very welcome to play it back at your own pace uh, as I mentioned, the flickering is due to the um, frequency at which the phone is recording and also the frame rate at which it's streaming uh, to the phone. It's maybe higher frames per second than the HP Reverb 2 so it creates that flickering effect. But, you know, it's, it's very clear. They've done an amazing, amazing job in terms of, you know, getting things as sharp as possible. Uh, when you do the wireless streaming without the cable, as I said, go and watch that video because it's a it's a different experience, you know. You can't really see the mesh here, I think, um, you know, when I'm moving. But you see it when you're moving the head much more than when you're, st you're still. So basically when you're moving, it's trying to render the frames so you can see the mesh more. And then when you're stopping, the mesh goes away and then there's no screen door effect anymore. But... Personally speaking, I don't feel comfortable with the headset on. And I think it's because I'm just used to really awesome graphics that comes from the, from the HP Reverb G2. I think maybe it's possible that if you've never had an HP Reverb G2 on your face, maybe you wouldn't notice it as much as me. But because I'm used to perfect PC VR, oh man, I notice it straight away. So uh, for me, it's definitely not the go-to PC VR headset. Definitely not. The HP Reverb G2 for me is hands down the headset to go for. But you can tell it looks, when I stop the, the, the headset, it looks really crisp, looks very sharp, looks very nice, right? They've done a good job. But at the back, you can see you lose, you lose graphics at the back. You lose those pixels at the back. So definitely things that are further away, you're losing detail for sure. And you can tell from the branches of the trees, uh, you know. So, so there you go. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Remember that we're giving a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP themselves. So they will be sending it to you, not me. And a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes, also sponsored by Cyber Shoes, Cyber Shoes sorry, who will send you the pair, not me. And also we're going to be doing some game keys and stuff. So I'm finalizing the game keys. Make sure you know you enable the bell after you subscribe because I will give you the details probably in a week's time when I finalize all the game keys because there's going to be three different winners winning all these different things. So guys, thanks for watching the video. I will see you in a brand new video very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.